Roll. Good morning, good evening, good day, good night. Uh, this is an Arcteryx bag review. So right now on my back, I have the Alpha uh, AR. Nope, not the Alpha AR. God, uh, uh. it's been a while since I've read the name tag. We have the Alpha FL, which stands for Fast and Light 40 liter mountaineering waterproof awesome bag. Awesome is part of the name. Anyways, this is a bit of a first impressions overview review, uh, personal opinion on it that Arcteryx Victoria wanted from me. Um, my experience with the bag so far is I've used it on Mount 5040 on Vancouver Island. It was great there, super light, literally just ran up the mountain. Um, and then my other experience with it was I used it in Austria to climb the tallest mountain in the country. I'm going to butcher this name. Grossglogna, um, which literally just, I think, stands for tall mountain. Gross is tall, so not big like in um, French, but gross is tall, so I assume it's tall mountain. I don't know what Glockna is. I assume it, I hope it's mountain. Back to the bag. Let's get back on schedule here. This thing is sick. It's 635 grams for the 40 liter. Um, comes in one size, no back length adjustability, and it's awesome. <clears throat> yeah, okay, what can I say about this thing? Um, there's a 40 liter and a 30 liter um, in this bag. It has one main pocket and two smaller pockets. One smaller pocket on the outside here and one smaller pocket on the inside of the bag. The entire bag is fully waterproof um, and it's ultra durable as well. Uh, I would confidently throw this thing down a mountain and know that it'd be okay. Um, this color is called Carbon Copy. It's a bit of a gray. They don't make it anymore, which is kind of unfortunate because it's a pretty cool color. Um, the current colors in stock, or at least that they're manufacturing, is their classic Arcteryx Red, which is probably one of the nicest reds that exist. They use it on their Alpha SV, which is one of my favorite waterproof jackets um, and they also use it on the Alpha FL40 and then the other color that you can get is black. Um, both of those come in the two different sizes 30 and 40 liters. Um, yeah and then you have your webbing system. This webbing system is freaking sick. So what you have is you have these two metal guys. On every single ice axe there's going to be a hole in the head. If there's not, I'd be worried. Um, but what this metal bit does is it goes through um, the ice axe head, and the head goes through here. So it's you kind of mount your ice axe reverse to what you'd regularly do it. On a regular bag, you do the head first and then attach the top part. On this bag, you do the top, you slide it through the top part from underneath, and then you attach the head down here. Um, so that's pretty sweet. It's really fast to get on and off, which is nice. Um, and then you can also stick your crampons on the outside. And you don't have to worry about slicing up whatever's in your bag, whether it be food, your kid, your, your kid. I don't know why your kid would be in your bag. Just fumbled my words there. That's pretty funny. Um, for straps, not that comfy. I can't lie. Remember though, it's 635 grams. I'm gonna be honest with this review. These, these straps are really thin. They're wide, which is good, so it disperses the weight. So you're not gonna die like that. But when you get any kind of actual weight in this bag, these straps are not comfy. They pull on your shoulders really hard, which is kind of a drag, but it kind of just forces you to pack later, which is this, which is what this bag is all about. Um, the only things that you should be carrying in this is your insulation, your bivy, if you're um, a bivy person. Mark Andre Leclerc says, if you bring a bivy, you're gonna bivy. So just don't bring a bivy. Yeah, you can carry your bivy, your insulation, rain gear, uh, layers in here, and a bit of food and water. Uh, there is no bladder sleeve, which is kind of a drag. For your hip strap, just a piece of webbing. You get no padding because padding's heavy. 
Why would you need that if you're being an ultra lightweight mountaineer? Which is what this is for. Uh, chest strap, just standard chest strap, no stretch in it. Um, it's good, clicks hard. I like it. Adjustable positions. It's nice. Then if you're one of those ski touring guys and you really wanna use this, you can because there's loops for Titan straps or gear straps and you can A-frame carry or side carry uh, your skis, which is pretty rad. Uh, you might be able to get a snowboard on here if you are creative, but they do advertise that you can A-frame carry your skis with this bag, even though it's made for climbing, which is cool. All right, moving on to the top of the bag. On the top of the bag, you have two haul straps for when you're getting vertical and climbing stuff. You need to haul your bag up. And then you have your rope thing, um, which goes over the top and clips on to this nice, almost wiry kind of rope thing. I need to get better at my job. Um, and that kind of just goes over the top. Standard rope carry. It's good. It works. It'll hold it down. Life is good. Uh, to undo it, kind of finicky, but I just like to flip it and then push up. Throw it to the side. For your closure system, you have two closure systems. Um, you have your top regular cinch, but instead of being like a regular, regular cinch, it, um, you have to like pull it a certain way. It's kind of unique to Arcteryx. I don't see it on that many other bags. I've seen it on one. Can't remember the brand. It might have been Blue Moon. Anyways, so you have this first little area that you can look in. Um, and like this entire cinch kind of just helps compress the bag down, um, which is calm. And then you have your dry bag. So this is the dry bag on the inside. It's like it's, it's sewed in, so it doesn't come out. And it's really solid. So you just fold it over like a regular dry bag. Clip it shut. Clip it shut. Clip it shut. Come on, there we go. Boom. Now your bag is dry. The pocket is on the outside of the, yeah. It's on the outside of the dry bag lining. So it's on the inside of this, but on the outside of the dry bag lining. It is still a waterproof pocket. One thing that doesn't make sense to me is our Terex designed completely waterproof zippers and they didn't use them on this bag that's advertised as waterproof. Um, what they did with those zippers is, I'll put up a design of a zipper somewhere here and you'll see that there's like a, the zipper head, like the center thing comes all the way up what they did on their zippers is they brought that part down so the zipper could fully cover it. On this, uh, that's not going to be in focus. On this, it doesn't go all the way to the end because they didn't use their patented zippers. Over there. Um, so that sucks a lot. Overstuffing. That's a cool feature. Let me, uh, yeah, I'll just grab one of these pillows. So, say you gotta carry a little more than you think the bag can carry. You can just be like, oh hey, I'm just gonna shove this in here. And you're like, oh, the dry bag still goes higher. Maybe I'll do another pillow. Oh yes, this is good. You just fold it over now or at least try to fold it over. And this is another spot where that rope carry guy comes in handy. And he just... And then boom, now you're overstuffed. And when I was in Austria, in Kanansi, because they pronounce the Z's as T's there. This is kind of how I was walking around. I had all my mountaineering stuff in this one bag, including my boots, 
which are size 46. Look at these chonkas. These fit in the bag. These are huge. These are my regular shoes. Yeah. I don't get it either. But it all fits. Um, this is, this is going to be the hot take. Um, this bag is sick. It is not meant to be heavy. So don't put a lot of heavy stuff in it because it's not super comfy when it's heavy. But even then I would still choose this mountaineering bag over any other mountaineering bag on the market because it's fully waterproof. It's lightweight. It's sleek. It packs really close to your back, so you're not worried about hooking up on a whole bunch of stuff. The webbing is freaking awesome. The ice tool carry is freaking awesome. The crampon carry is awesome. Um, it works for people that lift weights. Most backpacks and mountaineering packs I have problems with because I have very narrow hips, a wide neck, and big chest or boobs, um, which makes it hard for backpacks to fit. This one fits perfectly because it's just webbing on the sides. So I don't have to worry about the. But yeah, the hot take bag is good. I like bag. Uh, and it's affordable. I mean, $270. I, like I might try and take this backpacking. It's 40 liters. It's lightweight. This is like, I don't know if you know about Hyperlite. Hyperlite makes ultra lightweight bags. They have frames, which is a bit different, and pads on the hips, but I think I could make a way cooler ultralight setup with this than a Hyperlite. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna do the JDF trail with a 40 liter bag, and I'm gonna do it in two days. Not like two days from now, but I'll do it in two days instead of three days, because I'm a boss. Um, what don't I like about the bag? I, yeah. The two, the two zippers not being their patented, like super waterproof zippers, kind of annoying. Um, really wouldn't take that much. That's an oversight. Uh, what else? I don't think I change anything else other than the zippers. I did have an idea though for one change, which is to put on the moonlight or sorry, not moonlight. Blue Moon, sorry, who's trying to compete with Arcteryx, which is Sea to Summit's um, competitor, um, on their ski mountaineering bag. There's a zipper on the side. I, th I don't know how many grams that would add, but I still think it'd be a sub kilo bag. And I think it'd be really nice to have a zipper like on the side here or on the side here. But the problem with that durability, weight. This bag's not meant for it. It would be kind of cool though, but yeah. Other than that, it's a solid bag. I really like it. Thank you to Arcteryx Victoria for giving me the opportunity to use this bag. It's a really good bag. Seven Nuts are out. Bye-bye.